most people speak Dutch. Um, it's the national language, so the, I, I would say 85, 90 percent of the population was able to speak it. However, the farther away you get from the capital, the less prevalent it is. That's when you're going to find more of the Serantongo, more of the native Aboriginal languages or, or Amerindian languages, sorry, more of the native tribal languages. Um, but for the most part, everybody's able to speak it on what level or what to what capacity ranges on their, their level of education. Um, for, so I actually had the chance to visit Holland after I got home from a mission. And we also had a, a several Dutch elders and a Dutch senior couple that served with us. And there's really not very much difference in, in the language. Um, the accent is really, really different. Um, I can't really do it because I don't have a Dutch accent. Um, but one of the big accent differences is in Dutch, W's are V's. So you could say wij, wij zijn dankbar, like we are thankful, wij zijn. But in, in Suriname, the V's are still W's. So they'd say it, wij zijn dankbar. Um, and that was really hard for the for the Dutch elders to hear. I mean, it's just, it was it kind of painful to the ear just because it wasn't normal and they thought it was improper and that it wasn't right. Um, and for some reason, I thought that I had to keep my Dutch accent even though I was in Suriname. But that was probably the major difference is that W's were W's and W's were V's for Dutch people. Um, but for the most part, it's not too different between the two countries. Um, and most people speak it just well, just fine. I would say Dutch, is, Dutch was hard for me because it's similar enough to English to be... To, to kind of understand it, but yet it's different enough to make it difficult. Um, grammar is generally set up where you have the subject at the very beginning of the sentence, a verb, everything else that's in your sentence, and then a verb at the end. And then if you have multiple verbs in your sentence, like all of them are kind of grouped at the end, which is kind of interesting. It was kind of difficult to learn. Um, but for me, it probably took me, I would say, seven or eight months before I felt pretty comfortable. Um, I remember my first Sunday thinking they did not teach me Dutch in the MTC. This is completely different than what I learned. Um, but the biggest piece of advice I could give to learning Dutch is just don't be afraid to talk to people. Um, I, I know that at the beginning of my mission, I was a little bit apprehensive, a little bit timid to talk to people, to contact people, to say, hey, like I'm a missionary. Can I, you know, can, do you have a few seconds? Um, but you really will be surprised at how fast you pick up the language when you just open your mouth and speak. For the most part, people are amazed that you can speak so much as you can or that they're excited that you're willing to learn their language. They're really helpful. They're really kind. They're understanding. They're patient and they're willing to work with you. Uh, so just don't be afraid to just talk. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Don't be afraid to, to sound a little bit like a fool and and be corrected by members or by investigators or by contacts on the street um, and you'll learn it quick.